drug trial of uh, hydroxychlorine and chlorine going? The, we have, uh, we're using, we've allowed usage of uh, the hydroxychloroquine with the zithromycin packs, pack uh, in hospitals at their discretion. The federal government is going to increase the supply to New York pharmacies. We had a 14-day limit on how much you could buy because so many people were trying to buy it. If the federal government increases the supply to New York, which they say they're going to do, then we could lift the 14-day limit. There are a lot of people who rely on this, who were relying on it, people with lupus, et cetera. Uh, the tests in the hospital, they won't say that they are, they're too short a period of time to get a scientific report. You know, hospital administrators, doctors want to give, uh, have a significant data set before they give a uh, formal opinion. Anecdotally, you'll get suggestions that it has been effective, uh, but we don't have any official data yet from a hospital uh, or a, uh, a quote-unquote study, which will take weeks, if not months, before you get an official study. Is that a fair statement? So promising but not conclusive, it sounds like. On which? On that, that type of treatment in hospitals. Uh, yeah. There has been anecdotal evidence that it is promising. That's why we're going ahead. Uh, Doctors have to prescribe, but there are some people who have pre-existing conditions where it doesn't work or they're taking medication that's not consistent with this treatment. But anecdotally, it's been positive. We'll have a full test uh, once they have a large enough sample and data set, Jesse. But uh, anecdotally, it's been positive. And if we get an additional supply, we can, which the federal government says they're going to send, I'm going to mention it to the president, actually, when I call him this afternoon with the comfort. I'm going to make a note right now. If they increase the supply, we can lift the 14-day limit ban.